hampers. Best bit of kit you will buy. So if anybody's uh, missing the cable machines in the gym, cheapest chips come in all different resistances. Uh, today we're just going to look at upper body. You can use them as leg press machines as well, but today we're just looking at the upper body. So, a lot of people when they do press-ups find that that position of the hand, that sort of 90 degrees, is hard. So, you can build up, work the pecs, work these anterior delt, work the whole chest area with a band. So your band would come around bra strap area. Supporting bits of your body is going to be working as well, so your core muscles are going to be working. Um, this is just a straight punch in slow motion forward. So sideways on, my core muscles are pulled in, my knees slightly bent. If your back's sort of a bit tender, squeeze your glutes a bit more. You can do doubles. Doubles are a bit more like a press-up. You can work a little bit harder. So now we're involving a little bit around the lats, the rhomboids, the back of your shoulders, and you might feel it referring down to your waist as well. Also, with the arms above your head, you're working your heart and lungs a little bit more. Again, you can do that double swing up. So, if you've got something you can tie a band around, you can work the posterior bit of your body as well. So you can sit down to do this when I'm doing it standing to show off, basically. So, I'm going to be doing a low row. So if I was sitting on a chair, I'd have my heels on the floor and the band around my feet. My elbows are coming close to the ribs and I'm squeezing those shoulder blades together a little bit like I'm squeezing the juice out of a lemon. If you've got banisters or anything, you could just tie it back around there. The other way to do exactly the same exercise, one arm forward, and one arm back. So it looks a bit like your Robin Hood, Robin Hood and riding through the glen. So one arm straight, pressing forward and the other elbows drawing back. You can also work the same parts of the body by making the band long and squeezing back here. So this is a bigger range of movement, a bit like Kate Winslet on the Titanic. Or squeeze the back of the shoulders and just be aware of those shoulders creeping up as they try and help you keep that big gap between the bottom of your ear and that big squeeze back. Same area, short length of band, and we row back here. So you can do this really gently for a mobility thing. If you imagine your room's been full, filled with really thick honey or treacle and you exaggerate the pullback and you exaggerate the push forward and you've got that little pull out, you will feel it. So work in the back of the shoulders again. This exercise is, I call it the flash mat, but you're squeezing the elbow in, palms to the ceiling, keep the elbows there, don't let the elbows come out like the funky chicken, you're squeezing the elbows in. This exercise, um, is one that the physios give you if you've got a frozen shoulder. So if it's too much to do with the band, you can start without the band and then build up with the band. And again, this is quite an easy band, the red one. Uh, you can go up medium, you can go hard, you can go very hard with the different colours of the bands. It's about exploring what suits you. So this is rotator cuff muscle. Often, if these are in spasm or injured, the pain is actually on the front of the shoulder and sometimes refers down your arm. So that's a really good shoulder joint strengthener. We've also got the contralateral chain when you're stretching, working into the arms and shoulders there. Also a little bit of core. If you want to work the core even more, you can come to the balance or you can come to the balance on the same side feels completely different or you can work with knees up so anything when you're on one leg remember your core muscles have to really sort of switch on even harder and we've got the tricep so for this one i sometimes do it either in a lunge position or like today i'm stretching my calf muscle in that position your elbow will want to do that so if you can see yourself in a mirror make sure the elbow is right forward by your ear rather than to the side. That just works a different bit of your shoulder. 
and we should feel it here on the triceps, the bingo wing area. Again, the arms above the heart, so the heart's working a little bit harder. It's not like running around aerobics, but we are still working uh, the heart and lungs a little bit harder. Whatever number of repetitions you do on one side, um, if you're doing single arm work, you do the same number of repetitions on your other side. And again, seated or standing, any of those moves, and if you want to work the biceps, seated or standing, one foot holds the band flat on the floor, elbows in again, the palms to the ceiling. So like anything, these elastic bands can get old. So if you have one in your drawer that you know your physio gave you a million years ago, just check it out, check it for rips, um, you know like rubber perishes, those elastic bands that the post office people leave on your um, path sometimes and you put them in, in the rubbish drawer and they sort of sometimes perish. Same thing can happen to these. But you can buy them online, um, dead easy to carry with you if you are going away uh, on holiday, um, easy to post, they're quite light and as I say the best bit of kit if you, and it's rare, but if you do have a latex allergy, so balloons or you have to buy um, different rubber gloves, you can get non-latex uh, resistance bands. They're either called resistance bands or fitness bands. Um, you know, if you look online, Google them, you've got a whole array um, and they'll usually say easy, medium and hard. So that's the upper body workout. Next time we're going to use the band and do lower body workout. Uh, there's also a video already about the resistance bands in a circle to work your thighs and your bottoms. See you next time.